being open to following the rules, to following the directives, even as they change daily. How do we remain open and flexible to do so? Because it's important for all of us, those of us at home, those of us who are frontline providers, having the intention to follow the rules. That's today's meditation. Shoulders come back and down, closing your eyes if that's comfortable, if not looking in between your feet. Deep breath in through the nose, fingers are down towards the floor, even if they're on the outside of the arms of the chair. Relaxing your shoulders down, so being open. Bringing your arms out parallel to the ground with an inhale that continues as you take your hands up overhead, tipping over to the one side, exhaling, inhaling as you come back up overhead. Exhaling as you tip to the other. Coming back up overhead and taking our arms back parallel to the ground. Exhaling as you come forward, rolling your spine forward in the shape of a C. Exhaling your hands back as your shoulder blades come towards one another and releasing down. Releasing your belly. Taking one hand up overhead, tipping to the other side again, but this time with only one hand. Rotating that palm up towards the ceiling as you take your eyes up there. Deep breath in, exhaling as you come back up overhead and release that hand down. Look at how that shoulder is lower than this one just by that one little thing. Taking your other hand up overhead, inhaling. Exhaling as you tip to your other side. Rotating your palm up towards the ceiling. Perhaps taking your face up there. And coming up, exhaling down. Shoulders become equal. Deep breath in and release. Taking your toes to the floor, I'm sure they were already on the floor, but taking your heels up off the floor. Tensing your calves, tensing your thighs, but not tensing the top part of your body. So your heels are up off the ground, your calves are tight, and your thighs are tight. Hold it, hold it, and yet become conscious of how our upper torso can be loose even though our lower body is tight. Hold it and release your heels to the ground. Relax your thighs and your calves. Now drop the weight of your body into the seat of the chair. Drop the weight of your feet into the floor. So we're gonna keep from our waist down loose and relaxed. Taking an opposite palm to the opposite shoulder. And we're gonna tense the top part 
of our torso. While the lower part of our body remains loose, tensing, pushing in towards your chest, taking your whole face into tension, dropping your chin to your chest. Hold it, hold it, but make sure your lower body is still loose. And you can do that by gently taking your knees back and forth just a little bit. Top. Upper half of your body is tense, tense, tense. And then relax. Relaxing your hands, your chest, your shoulders, and your face. Going with the flow. Sometimes we need to tense part of ourselves and keep the other parts loose. Deep inhale and 